Hey there, Becky here from Inside the Square and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to change the background of a menu block in your Squarespace website. Now, a menu block is a premium feature that's currently only available in business and commerce plans. If you've never used one before, check out the related videos linked below. I have a little introduction on how to set one up on your Squarespace website that I'd love to have you check out before you get started with customizing it. But if you already have a menu block, let's change up that background design. We're going to change the color, we're going to add a gradient, and we're going to upload a background image. Now, all the codes I'm about to share are listed in the description below, but there are definitely some things that you're going to want to change to make it look amazing on your own website. So let's go ahead and hop into Squarespace and I'll show you how this works. So here we are in my Squarespace website and I am using version 7.1, but a menu block is available in older versions of Squarespace. So if you're still using version 7, this tutorial will still work for you. And one last reminder, this menu block is a premium feature for business or commerce plans. So I'm going to go ahead and hop into edit mode here. I'll select add block in this fluid engine section. I'll type in menu and we'll grab a menu block to work with. Now I'll scoot this over to the side and let's go ahead and pull this in a little bit so we can see some of the cool codes in action. Alrighty, I'm going to select save and we'll start with this very first code that changes the background color, this code right here. I'm going to navigate to design and then scroll down to custom CSS. Now I'm going to copy this code and paste it right here and you'll notice immediately the background color changes to pink. I also added an extra line to increase the padding. This is the distance between the text and the edge of this menu block. If I remove that line, that text is going to be really close to the border or the edge of the menu block, so I thought we should add a little bit of padding to help it stand out. Now instead of the word pink, you can change this to a hex color code if you'd like to. This is one of my favorite light blues that you'll see on my website here. Super easy to adjust that any color code or web save color name will work. Now next up, let's create a linear gradient. Instead of saying background and then listing a specific color, we're going to create a gradient that fades yellow to red from left to right. So I'll copy this code right here, paste it here in my custom CSS, and now we have a gradient for our menu. Now if you want to learn a little bit more about gradient codes, I have a free guide at insidethesquare.co forward slash gradient. There you can find uh, some pre-made codes for you and some other fun ideas like changing your gradient in different directions or adding multiple colors. And again, I've added the padding. If we remove it, it really puts that text close to the edge. So that part is super customizable and not required, just something that I've added. Now, last but not least, I wanted to show you how to add a background image. If you're using Fluid Engine, you can add an image block and then pull it to the lowest layer. But if you're using Classic Editor or an older version of Squarespace like version 7, this is the code that you're going to need to use. I'm going to copy this and paste it right here in my custom CSS. You'll notice our gradient went away because we've got a new code. There are two parts of this code that you're going to want to change. The very first part is where it says URL here. You need to add the URL for an image. Now, how do you do that? You should upload an image to your site. Select Manage Custom Files, and you can drag an image from your computer and drop it right here to have it hosted on your Squarespace site. I recommend doing this instead of linking to an external image. So this image is going to load with all of your site content. Now I'm going to click on this image, and I'll remove the text that says URL here. There we go. And now we have this awesome mountain image in the background of our menu. Pretty cool, right? Now I have this set to cover, and I want to show you, this is the other part you might want to change. Cover is going to make sure that that image will cover the menu while keeping that image in proportion. If I change this to contain, spelled correctly, there we go, you'll notice I'm getting a repeating image here because the image is wider than it is tall, and this menu block is taller than it is wide. So I'm going to get multiple instances of my background image. You can set that to contain if that's the effect you want to go for, but I think cover is a great way to keep that image in proportion, but to make sure the entire menu block is covered. Now, again, I've added padding one REM. You can change that to maybe 20 PX if you want to. Any size of padding that you're comfortable with there, but super customizable. And you can also completely remove that code if you want the text to be right at the edge of the menu. Whatever you decide to change, select save when you're done and you'll be good to go. Alrighty, that's it for this tutorial, and again, those codes are listed in the description below. Now, if this is your very first time using CSS in Squarespace, I want you to head on over to insidethesquare.co forward slash learn. There, I have my free guide to the basics of customizing your Squarespace website with code. That's insidethesquare.co forward slash learn. 
Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Give me a like and a comment if you did, and definitely subscribe to my channel because I post a brand new tutorial every single week and I want to make sure you catch the latest. Thanks again for watching, and most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now. If you liked this tutorial, you're going to love my Squarespace CSS cheat sheet. I put all of my custom codes and pro tips inside one gigantic PDF available now at insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS. That's insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS.